When I graduated from high school, there were very few options for women. You could be a nurse, you could be a secretary, you could work in a store, or you could be a teacher. My parents were both university educated, and that was in, in 1930. So it was not common for women to be at university in those years. I feel that all girls should be educated. My name is Gwen Smith. I am 82 years old. I was a high school teacher and I loved every year that I taught. I taught in an adult high school. Many of them were English as a second language students or immigrants. And I enjoy people. I met my husband at a volleyball game. His name was Douglas. He was a computer expert. I think my favorite memory was when we traveled. We took two trips to Europe before he died. And those are my favorite memories. I lost my husband when I was quite fairly young. I had four children, so I had to provide for them and see them through to their adult years. But I had a career to support them. I have three daughters, and I have drilled that into them, that they need to be self-sufficient. And the best way is through education. I'm not the kind to sit in this apartment. I like to be out and about with people. I'm involved in several groups. I am active in my church. I am in a book club. And I'm in a women's group that meets once a month. I enjoy the leadership part of it. I think the key to living a good life is a positive outlook. If you allow yourself to worry about what tomorrow will bring, you'll be dwelling on tomorrow and it hasn't even come. Live for today, be happy for today, and don't worry about tomorrow. That's difficult to do at times, but I think you're a happier person if you're able to do that. <laughs>